Okay, guys, we got the uh, we got the build happening again. Finally, getting it uh, going. There is a few more parts that have arrived. I'm just going to give you a quick walkthrough of what's happened, what I'm up to. Um, basically, I decided to take a step back and do a dry fit on all the pieces. So what you're going to see over and above the last little video I did was the uh, the installation of the motherboard, uh, the USB three motherboard header, uh, and that there. Uh, zoom in a bit is that GTX 590 uh, with its uh, EKSLI bridge but not the second 590 it's still in my computer so as I said I need that for business purposes I also dropped the RAM in there just because I wanted to see how it looked and whatnot um, this is the Asus Maximus 4 Extreme Z68 version motherboard uh, <laughs> take a look at that though huh look at the size of that board in comparison to the inside of that case it's tiny unbelievable okay so next uh, let me just say, show you quickly about this um, the USB 3.0 in this case it's kind of interesting uh, you get these long blue cords here that uh, go off your uh, front panel but you usually have to plug them back in to the IO back here uh, and route them around the case to, to plug them in I didn't want to have the cords kind of fishing around the case so what I did is uh, I bought this little adapter piece I don't know if you've ever seen one of these. Let me see if I can pull it out here without making too much of a mess. Um, that's it. It's just literally a uh, USB 3.0 focus focus header that plugs into your motherboard, and you can put two USB 3.0 connectors in it. So very handy. Love it. I think it looks better than uh, running the cords outside the case. I did have to do this funny little thing of rooting the cords around the fan here because um, these were just a little too short to do any other route. So not really a choice, that's what I had to do. Um, I also managed to figure out my water cooling a little bit better. I'm deciding I wasn't gonna, I'm not gonna go with the 5.25 inch bay reservoir anymore. I'm actually gonna, I ordered today one of those EK serial pump um, attachments because I had two uh, MCP 655s. So I'm gonna put those together in a, in a serial um, configuration. And uh, I've also got the, uh, the EK reservoir that attaches to the top of that. So um, I really, that's going to be my reservoir. So I don't need that 5.25 inch bay. And by doing so, if you recall, the last time I put this together, that's the 240 up front there. Uh, now that I don't need that reservoir bay, I managed to put the, uh, the full push-pull configuration on this 360. So top fan bottom fan underneath underneath here which you can't really see but that's push full push pull now and again that this radiator this 240 is just sitting there if you see even between the DVD driver here and the top of the radiator I got some room so I'm actually going to scoot that up right up to the DVD drive so that there's going to be a little bit of room where there really isn't because it's just sitting there still guys I'm still struggling with how to attach this 240 to the case but anyways, there's going to be a lot more space here, so just feel a little bit better about it. So that's what, um, what I ended up doing there. But as a result, like I said, I've lost my 5.25-inch uh, bay, but I'm not really fussed about that. The Lamtron Touch is still here, the Hot Swap Bay and the DVD Drive, Blu-ray Burner, so on and so forth. Pretty good. Um, there's the, uh, the USB 3s that uh, I showed you with the header. That's what they're going to connect into. Um, I'm not using the ESATE up here. I don't. Um, the personal thing I don't do but this uh, this docking bay I love it this is awesome I'm gonna use that for sure I'm gonna make sure I plug that one in so anyway I'll show you the awful back of the case right now but you can imagine that we're just in the middle of the build so the wires are just not done and uh, really it's uh, it doesn't really make a big deal to be honest we'll uh, we'll get there when we get there but um, Lots of fan, fan, uh, fan connectors to, to hook up to the controller, and uh, I had to put in the, uh, the CPU extension pin. Like I said, this is a bit of a dry fit, so that might not, that's not going to stay like that, obviously. Um, but uh, it's a very tight fit with the way the, the setup is going. That, uh, that cord is pretty much sandwiched right in there. I'm not sure how much you can see of that, but the... Top, the bottom of these rads are right at the top of the CPU connector, power connector, and right at the top of the LED here. Like literally, that this motherboard is just two millimeters 
from touching this uh, this 420 that I got the push pull configuration on. So, anyways, we'll we'll see how it all turns out. But uh, I'm liking it. We're uh, we're we're getting there. Um, still actually waiting for now a, a couple more parts. Like I said, I redid the water cooling configuration, so that's going to come probably by uh, Thursday, about two days from now, and uh, then we're going to. Uh, I think I think by the weekend I'll be able to do a much more comprehensive build on the water cooling system and and, and show you what I was thinking, and uh, yeah, we'll go from there. So. Talk to you later, guys.